Hello. You may not always pay attention to them, but the safety instructions given at the start of each flight are nonetheless vital. Although the plane is the safest form of transport, in terms of the number of passengers transported per kilometer, the risk of an accident is still a situation one must prepare for. Of course, you can count on a whole range of equipment developed by engineers to anticipate and address all aeronautical risks. Thus, for your safety, the aircraft is fitted with two kinds of equipment. Equipment designed to protect passengers and equipment designed to evacuate passengers. The first piece of safety equipment you encounter when you take your place aboard an aircraft is, of course, the seat itself, along with the seat belt that will protect you in case of turbulence or if you hit an air pocket. What's more, the seat is designed to absorb very strong deceleration and on certain long-haul flights may even be fitted with an airbag. Staying in one seat is all very well, as long as you can continue to breathe in case of depressurization. Indeed, as you most likely know, given that the atmospheric oxygen rarefies as the aircraft gains in altitude, its cabin must be kept pressurized throughout the flight. Thus, the cabin air is kept perfectly breathable with a correct level of oxygen, even when the plane is flying at twice the altitude of Kilimanjaro. What's more, the pilots are equipped with oxygen masks that they can wear permanently as a precautionary measure and in case of cabin depressurization. Their oxygen is supplied from a special canister, and an integrated visor ensures good visibility, even if there is smoke in the cockpit. Oxygen masks are also available to passengers, but they only drop down in case of emergency. Here, the process is different, as the mask is supplied by a cartridge, which, thanks to a chemical reaction, generates oxygen. <clears throat> Although these masks are simpler than the high-tech masks intended for the pilots, Everyone on board is nevertheless equipped to breathe during the time required for the pilots to bring the plane down to an altitude where the air is breathable. <sighs> but onboard aircraft safety also involves being able to evacuate passengers as quickly as possible. To meet current regulations, all passengers must be evacuated in under 90 seconds and in the dark. All of which means that the implementation of safety procedures has to be super fast. So, to evacuate the cabin in record time, the aircraft is equipped with evacuation slides. These slides are, of course, inflatable and integrated into the doors. Very finely folded, in case of emergency, the slides can be deployed in less than six seconds. Watch. The slide is first ejected and then deployed using compressed air from a special gas canister. However, this compressed air does not inflate the slide entirely, but activates an aspirator, which completes the inflation using the ambient air. Made of special urethane-coated nylon, the slides are fireproof, puncture-resistant, and inspected every three years to make sure they are still perfectly operational. On this occasion, each slide is deployed, then repacked and reintegrated into the plane. If there is a landing on water, the slides located at the front and in the back can function as individual life rafts for up to 80 passengers on wide-body aircraft. Planes are also equipped with other life rafts with a capacity of up to 60 places. What's more, as you know, each passenger is provided with a life jacket located underneath their seat. Needless to say, all this equipment undergoes extensive and rigorous testing before entering service, like here at Saffron, who supplies the evacuation system for every second plane in service, and the oxygen masks for nine pilots out of ten. There. Now you know everything, or nearly everything, but before we go, remember that every safety instruction is underpinned by a host of technologies developed by engineers to continue to make the plane the safest mode of transport. So... No need to bring your own equipment on board.